Hello, it's me from the future. I just thought I would mention really quick before you watch this. I did not dust my shelves before recording this. They look absolutely disgusting. I am aware I literally like flick off a piece during one of the videos. I'm so sorry. I know it looks gross, um, but I'm too lazy to re-record everything. So yeah, please try to get past that. I'm so sorry. Also, I don't know why, but I was breathing really heavy in a lot of my clips like I was out of breath. I think it's just because I was trying to talk fast. I didn't want this to be a boring video because I was talking forever about each thing. So that's why I'm sorry if it's annoying. Anyways, that's all I had to say. So now we're going to get into the actual video. Hello, Internet. So today I thought I would make a video showing my horror collection for 2021. Majority of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you in this video, I did get in 2021 or late 2020. Um, so yeah, it's a lot, but it's what I choose to spend my money on, which is why I have so much. I don't like spending money on things I can't keep forever. Maybe that makes me a hoarder. I don't know, but let's just get into this. I'm not going to be showing like t-shirts or anything because who really cares? And that's just too much, but I'm going to be showing you all my collectibles pretty much. I'm just gonna kind of go through everything, say like where I got it and how much I got it for in case you see something you're interested in, but yeah, let's get started. So when I first walked in my room, I have this whole wall of just a bunch of other random things, but I have this little it sign I got from Spirit Halloween um, on like the 50% off, so, so I don't even think that it was um, $10. And then I also got this Michael Myers head that plays the Halloween theme. I'm not gonna play it because copyright, but um, he was also only like $20 because I got him 50% off. As well as this sign over my bed, another it sign. I really like this one just because it's a cute little newspaper thing. Continuing over, I have two Toonie Terrors. I love these. They're so cute, but it's kind of hard to find them. Um, I got this Michael Myers one a few months ago for like $12 from Target. And then Pennywise, same place, same price about like a week ago. And then down here, I have my Chucky doll. Um, I got that from Spirit Halloween with a coupon, so it was only like 75 bucks. And then I also have this little horror movie scratch-off poster that will not stay on my wall. So it's just kind of down here until I figure out something better to do with it. But I got that as a Christmas present, so I'm not really sure where it came from. Then I have some of these like window clings, but I put them on my wall and they actually managed to stay. This was just a trick-or-treat set that I got from a friend for my birthday, but I'm pretty sure he got them from Spirit Halloween. And then right past my mirror, I have my little Stephen King shelf. This is not even half of my Stephen King books. Like I have a lot in storage right now, but I just kind of decided to put all my Kings over here. I have this little SS Georgie bookend, I think is kind of what that's supposed to be. Also got from my friend for my birthday, and I also believe that's from Spirit Halloween. And then I got this little scaler. I got it from Target for $5. So cute, but I don't think I'm ever going to take it out of the packaging. But yeah, I just like how this looks a lot better. I used to have a bunch of like my favorites, but it just looked really cluttered. Um, and fun fact, this one's signed. Like... <laughs> And then right above that, I also have a little Pennywise that talks. He says two different quotes from the movie, um, but they're really loud, so I'm not going to play it. I accidentally cut the wire when I was um, taking it out of the packaging, but my dad came in clutch and fixed it for me. It looks a little wonky, but it's okay. At least it works now. Then moving down from that, I just have some Junji Ito Funko Pops. Um, the rest of my Junji Ito stuff's over here, and that's just kind of my manga shelf. And then my friend got me... This little Coraline plush. Not sure if you'd count that as horror, but if you do, I'm pretty sure she got that from Target. And then we move to the left of that. Here is my horror shelf. Um, the top three shelves are all horror movies. And then down there has some other stuff mixed in with it. But um, here is the top shelf. So up here, um, we have the little bunny mask from Trick or Treat. Everyone thinks it's a chipmunk because it doesn't have the ears on it. But... Um, I loved it. I don't know what it is, but every time I watch Trick or Treat, just that one scene when I see the kid dressed as the bunny is so cute. But yeah, I got that from Spirit Halloween. And I have my Michael Myers Funko Pop I got from Hot Topic for like $12.50. Um, and I think that was $12.99. And then I have my Sam Funko Pop from Spirit Halloween. That was like $25, I think. 
Um, and then I have two Royal Baubles, which I actually really love. I'm hoping to get more of them soon, but I got the Michael Myers one from Walmart for $30. And then the Ghostface Hot Topic exclusive for like 35, I think. And then I have a Hot Topic exclusive Leatherface, also 12.50. And then the little kid robot, um, Ghostface, really cute. Then moving down, I have most of my like Friday the 13th collectibles. I'm not gonna go through each DVD. That's like a whole other video in and of itself. And I have more in storage, so I don't really wanna do it right now. But I have my little Jason plush my friend got me for my birthday. So I'm not sure where she got it from. I have a little Among Us crewmate with the Jason mask that I made. Next, I have this little Jason figure. I think he was about $10. And then I got this little Jason snow globe for six. Um, and then I have this little candy tin that my mom got me for Christmas, and it's got, like, little um, candy machetes in it. So moving down, I have all my Michael stuff. I have this little Michael Myers plush um, that my friend got me from Walmart. I absolutely love him to death. He is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I have a, another candy tin that my mom also got me for Christmas. I think that one just has, like, candy knives in it. And then I have... Um, a little Michael Myers snow globe that my friend got me for my birthday. Then I have some trick or treat stuff. So I have the Holly Ho. I couldn't really do this one handed, but basically you just pop the top of the candy bar off and it's got a little retractable blade. I love this, it's so cute. Got it for like $10 from Spirit Halloween. And then I also of course have Sam's Lollipop, which I believe I got from the 50% off sale at the end of 2020 for like $5. And then moving down one more level, I have a little Leatherface plush that I bought from Mercari from someone that was selling it. So I got it for like five bucks. Um, and I have this little ghost face mug my friend got me for my birthday. And I have a bunch of like horror movie pins in there. Um, and then I have this little Leatherface mini Funko Pop keychain I also got for my birthday. Um, and then some horror trivia cards that I got for Christmas. So for the pins, I have this Friday the 13th one. I believe this is from the 2009 remake, but I got this from GameStop. And then I have this little It pin that I got from Hot Topic. And then the Trigger Tree Bunny one. Of course, this is who I was talking about a minute ago. He's so, so cute. But I got this one from Spirit Halloween. And then at the very bottom of all of this, I have my Junji Ito shelf. I just thought I would include this just because he's a horror manga author. But I got pretty much all of these from Barnes & Noble, I believe. Um, I don't know why, but I didn't really want to order them off Amazon just because most of them are hardcovers and I wanted them to be in really nice condition and I don't like ordering books online that much. And then I also have Twisted Visions to the right of it. Obviously, it would not fit in the shelf, but like, can we just look at how pretty... I just realized that I kind of have this set up where I've, like, I've read all of these. Um, I'm almost done reading that one, then I haven't read these. I didn't even realize I kind of did that on accident. But yeah, if you want me to talk about any of them, let me know. And then we kind of jump across my room through the TV and all that to my Michael Myers cardboard cutout. Um, he's like this, I think he's six foot three, which I'm pretty sure is like his canon height for the movies and stuff. He is huge. The one thing that bugs me is that little crease in the middle, but I can't really fix it. Otherwise, I love him to death. My aunt got him for me for my birthday. It was a really fun surprise when I had this gigantic box show up at my house. But yeah, I love him. And then right up here, hanging off my window, I have this little giant knife with Michael. And then on the other side, it just says Halloween. Um, I got this from Spirit Halloween for like $15, $16. I have this little Michael Myers pillow that says Slay on it. I love it. Um, I also got this from Spirit Halloween, like $20, $25. And then above my bed, I have this little ghost face painting my friend did for me for Christmas last year. Um, and then I have these two little um, boxes. These came with the um, Funko t-shirts that I got of Chucky and Michael. Um, but I thought they were really cool, so I just kind of kept them. Um, maybe I'll eventually get rid of them, but you're supposed to take the Funko Pop and like put it in so I have like the movie scene but I don't have the Chucky one and it's just not gonna balance right it'll bug me but I just thought they were cool then I have this little sign my sister got me for Christmas I love the drawings they're so adorable like look at Michael he is so cute um and then I have this little painting my friend just gave me for Christmas of my cat Louie um, stabbing in a pile of blood and holding a knife in his other hand I just thought I would include that it's really goofy and cute and I thought it was a nice 
little touch from her since we are both big horror movie people. And then over here, I have my Let the Right One In poster my friend got me for um, Christmas last year. This is actually my favorite movie, not just horror movie of all time. I love it to death and I really, really wanted a poster, but they're kind of hard to find. I think she had to order it off of like a custom website, but yeah, I love it so much. I forgot to go through these earlier, but I have a bunch of like um, horror movie magnets on my mini fridge. Um, I have this Halloween one my friend got me for Christmas. I think she got it from Spencer's. Um, I have a trick or treat and a Pennywise one I got from Spirit Halloween. Camp Crystal Lake and Michael Myers one I also got from Spirit Halloween. And then I think the Jason one I got from Spencer's. But like, look at how cute he is. <laughs> and then I also got this Sam one from Spirit Halloween. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Lily in case you were wondering what he looked like not in paint form. He's really tired right now, so he's laying down, but yeah.